Okay, yanking the radiator from my 98 Chevy. I already took the bolts out, but I'm going to show you where I started. Here's your, your cable. Throw it up over here, get it out of the way. Then you got 10 millimeter bolts all along the craw, across the top. One right there. Right there. Go to this side. Can you see it? Right there. Right there. No. Cut the shroud off. And here's my radiator. Now here's where the one bolt was. Underneath the shroud there's the other one. Now here, this is loose. Both sides. You can see I had a, I got a, got a bad one here. Looking at this angle, you can see where, uh, where it started to, to break right up in here. All my problems. I'm going to find the drain plug. Make sure you drain this before uh, you yank it out. I'm going to find the drain plug and I'll point that out. Alright, now I'm under the truck. I removed this front, front plastic skid plate thing. 15 millimeter. Right there and right there. And then it's on a hinge. There's one on each side. Right there's that, that hole right there. These two bolts, this thing swings on a hinge. Pull those out, and there's everything underneath. Now as you can see in the earlier shot, I had a bunch of fluid in there. In the bottom of this, I think I'm going to get the shot back, suck that out first because once you get down here and you start wrenching on these with your air tools and sockets, everything comes down. Dirt, rust, antifreeze, all that stuff. Uh, it's not cool as it looks. <laughs> Put glasses on or goggles. I got a good piece of rust in my eye. Didn't feel very good. I looked cool though. So I took off all the stuff underneath, but you, you can't really get a good shot at it. But here, you can see that green tab. Right there. See the top of my screwdrivers on the top of it? I mean, it's way down at the bottom, but... Right there. A green piece. Pull that out. Now, I thought that too much of a pain. I got a nice clean floor. So what I did, is I took that main one off down here. This one. And let me tell you, it comes gushing. But what I did, is I had my shot back on hand <laughs> and I lost some to the floor but then I put the nozzle in there and I just sucked all the radiator fluid out I lost maybe a half a gallon but I'll vacuum that up too when I'm done dump it in a bucket go recycle it but if you want to take the time and avoid the mess on the floor there's your uh, drain plug and I've heard that if it's an aftermarket radiator, you won't have one. But there she is. Okay, throw the radiator back in. Got the new one from the junkyard. <coughs> Used. Uh, guaranteed for 90 days, but that'll be a pain in the butt if I have to return it. So let's hope it works. 
Uh, the only issue I had with putting it back in was getting the original clamp on that big hose. This big hose going right into the bottom. I probably fought it for half hour, 45 minutes. Easy. Got pissed off, threw tools, swore. So what I did was I grabbed an actual clamp that I happen to have. You know, one of those, uh, what are they called? Hose clamps. I like that name. Just one of these. Took about 30 seconds to put on, so if you want to fight the other one, go for it. Otherwise, I suggest grabbing a regular hose clamp and throwing it on. Hook these back up. Your uh, breather valve. You got two over here, too. This one's got a drain also. Bottom. Wife's going to get an antifreeze right now. Uh, it's she Googled it on the computer, said a gallon and a half. Guarantee it's more than that. But we'll start with two. But now you know how to take it out. Once you figure out how to take it out, putting it in is, is a snap. But the other thing too, when I was getting this clamp off, the brackets are facing this way. What you have to do, you have to take your tool, drop it in, in here, behind your battery backwards which is a pain in the butt so you're doing it this way it's the only way I could get that out that's why I say just throw a regular hose clamp on it that thing's not coming off and if it does I'll edit the video and say <laughs> put the regular original one back on but I don't see that being an issue later